have heard behind the scenes from multiple people, not just you, from multiple dentists, doctors, experts, that there is a huge link between root canals and breast cancer. Yes. Yes, that is that is true. And I'll tell you how and why that's true. There was a nurse that worked for me and she became a holistic nutritionist and her name was Barbara. And and then she came to me one day and said, Jerry, there's a change in my medical history. I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. And my first response was, oh, my God, Barbara, you're going to Sloan Kettering. You know, you know, it's like everybody thinks cancer, Sloan Kettering. And and the reality is she came back to me and said, that's a meat grinder. I'm not going there. I'm going to the Paracelsus Clinic in Switzerland and and with Dr. Thomas Rao. And he was the guy, the medical doctor who changed my life as a dentist. And I, I got a chance to honor him when I spoke at a World Congress in Integrative Medicine in, in Portugal a few years ago. Um, but Thomas Rao, the first thing he would do if you had breast cancer is he would say, open your mouth and he'd be wow. looking for root causes of inflammation and toxicity, whether you have heavy metals in your teeth with amalgam fillings, whether you have infected root canals, whether you had your wisdom teeth extracted and now you have these residual necrotic areas of bone, what we call jaw cavitations in the wisdom tooth area, whether you had BPA composite, which a lot of tooth colored fillings are BPA composite, whether you had uncontrolled gum disease, do you have, um, gum disease that's untreated, that's the body's number one source of chronic low-grade inflammation? Or do you have an airway problem that's restricting your breathing? So this man totally was the aha moment for me to feel connected to medicine and overall body wellness. Yeah, I always say dentistry is the 800-pound, biologic dentistry is the 800-pound gorilla. Oral health is the 800-pound gorilla in the wellness room. So you have all these functional medicine doctors, many of whom, you know, I know you have podcasts with and everything who are wonderful guys, but they will be the first to tell you they can't fix your gut. They can't fix your brain. They can't fix your body if you don't fix your mouth. 